Hey, this is Kale, the Venom Teacher. I'm doing a little film today about Heritage Academy. This is the school where I teach at, and I absolutely love it. I've been teaching here for 13 years. I teach seventh grade science, and this is one of the animals I use in my classroom. This is Snoopy. He's a ball python, and I have a few ball pythons and other stuff that the kids can hold and interact with each day. It's just really fun seeing uh, students' face light up as they get to hold live animals, they get to interact with them. I do a lot of different things called Reptile Day, Herpetology Club. I do labs where they have to go catch bugs for their homework and then they bring them into the class and we study them. Uh, we do other labs with uh, amphibians like water dogs and frogs and different things. And uh, I think the students uh, love it more because of the live animals and the interactions they get. So this video is going to spotlight some of these things. I'm going to show you what it's like on Reptile Day, uh, one of the favorite days for the students. And, uh, and also the herpetology club that I do. So what's your favorite thing about Reptile Day? Well, my favorite thing about Reptile Day would be the fact that you can learn something new that you've never knew before. And you can experience stuff that you won't experience again with amazing reptiles like Scooby. <laughs> Well, my favorite thing is that you get to play with the, some sweet animals. So I'm getting ready for Reptile Day this morning, and Reptile Day is a much anticipated event here in Heritage Academy, 7th grade science. Uh, they earn it. Uh, I have a Reptile Day every nine weeks, so every quarter they get four a year. Uh, each one has a theme uh, for, for the actual the animals. The, the first one is uh, snakes and then I do turtles and tortoises. There's a second, the third one's lizards, and the last one is crocodilian, like alligators and crocodiles. And so I use reptiles that I uh, borrow and bring in from the Phoenix Horpological Society's Reptile Zoo. And so the kids have to earn it and uh, they, they have to get points or they won't get reptile day. So it's an incentive program. And so right here you can see the, the point system. So each class period has to earn for this period uh, 91 points over the nine weeks. Uh, everybody made it. Uh, if they don't uh, get enough points, they don't get Reptile Day. So that doesn't ever happen because I make deals with them. And, but they basically earn the points based on doing their homework and doing uh, behaving well in class. And so they, they always end up pulling it off. So here I am uh, getting ready. So we have three little tortoises here, uh, a desert tortoise right here, and then uh, two African sulcata tortoises. So I'm just getting them all ready in their little bins. And then I'm also going to have uh, a soft shell turtle in this tank as soon as I fill it up, and a Sonoran mud turtle for them to hold. It's pretty exciting. So I get the tortoises, the baby tortoises in this case, I get them all cleaned up. So. They're all ready to be held. I just use a very soft toothbrush and gently clean their shells off a little bit. Look at this one, you can actually see his belly button still. All right, here is Reptile Day. Here's us holding some of the ball pythons. This is Marshmallow. Popcorn. There's Snoopy. And this is Scooby. <laughs> this is Lorenzo, the calico chuckwalla. Sometimes when you scratch his back, he loves that. So let's see. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that feels good, huh? To the right, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good boy. Yeah. Feels good, huh? Uh-uh. Corner. Other side. I'm supposed to do that. <laughs> oh, my God. Corner. Yeah. You got to move. Snake. Snake's over there. Blizzard's over here. Good boy, Lorenzo. Already oh. Looks like you're holding like a baby. Oh, you just. I think he likes it. <laughs> Why do you like teaching at Heritage so much? Well, Heritage Academy is a charter school and they, they do things a little differently than the, the regular uh, public district schools do. 
And uh, when I first came here, I was just shocked on, uh, first of all, my favorite thing is the students. Uh, I love, I teach seventh grade science, and a lot of students don't get science very often in elementary school. So this is, uh, they focus more on English and math. So when they come here, the, having a class period devoted just to science is a, is a new thing for them. And I just love it. I love their enthusiasm. I love how they're so excited to, to be able to do full labs. And so teaching science here is just the best. I love it. And uh, I'm making this video because I want to show everybody how awesome Heritage Academy is, but also how awesome the students are. Hey, one of the cool things about Heritage Academy is I get to have these things. So this is a Gila monster. His name's Harley. Uh, he lives on the top level here, and on the bottom is Chikorita. If you come right around here, she's a Mexican beaded lizard. And these are the two only uh, really dangerously venomous lizards in the world. Uh, they, they are part of the Heloderma family. But uh, I got a permit from the Arizona Game and Fish Department, which you can see right hanging on the side of the cage there. And uh, we're able to keep them in here. The rules are I have to keep them locked and I can't take them out when the students are here. But it's really neat to be, for the students to be able to see these really rare animals right here in this class. So what's your favorite thing about Reptile Day? My favorite thing about Reptile Day is being able to hold all the snakes. And this one is Snoopy. And he's a new one. He's a new snake that we just got today or a while ago. And I love holding and interacting with them. And telling them they're good snakes even though they can't hear anything. Uh, I like to go and hold the animals instead of just like sitting down and worrying because we get to have a great experience. Good, so yeah, that's the desert tortoise. It's so cute. The other two are the African sulcatas. These I'm holding you, my friend, you are a girl. is how interactive it is because at other schools you don't get to like hold snakes or like real live turtles or tortoises and with this we get to hold so many just things and it's very interactive. I think my favorite part is how we get to actually like see the animals instead of like just learning about them out of a boring textbook. Oh, it looks like you put him to sleep. That is so cute. Look at that. He's sleeping. What does it feel like? It's like spiny but soft at the same time. All right, so here's the herpetology club, and today we are looking at uh, some turtles and tortoises. And so here is a Sonoran mud turtle. So these uh, turtles are native to Arizona, and uh, I borrowed these from the Phoenix Herpetological Society. So you can pick these ones up like this, and you can touch them. You just don't want to put your fingers in front of their face. The, the turtles sometimes can't bite. Why does the so, face look all like 
machine. Yeah, that's the, it's actually because her head is all squished in there. He can stretch his neck out like this far. Yeah, it looks and like once he does, it, it will look like that. So if you want to come around here, you can see this is a spiny soft shell turtle. He's not really as holdable. You can see that. Let's move him over here. So you hold him. Do you, you see this guy? So this is another. Does he bite? Any of them could bite. Turtles tend to bite more than. Look at that guy. So his name's Pancake. Okay, so over here we have the tortoises. So this is a, a newborn baby Dutcher tortoise. His name is Oogie. And then we have two African sulcata uh, baby tortoises. So this is uh, Yurtle and no, that's Squirtle. This is Squirtle. This is Yurtle. This is Squirtle. That is Yurtle. Okay, so these are from Africa. They can get up to 175 sorry, pounds or more. How big, okay. how big can so they So go get? ahead, guys. You can hold these. These are nice. And uh, just hold them over the container. The, the African ones get really big. They can, some of them, they say, can get up to 250 pounds. But the, the desert tortoises are much smaller. Do I hold them? So what do you like most about Herpetology Club? Well, I really enjoyed uh, petting the snakes and stuff and petting them like right now. But I also, my other favorite part was probably going to the uh, Phoenix Herpetological Society. Um, because um, there were a whole bunch of cool animals there. And there was this one crocodile that when I got up close to it, it growled at me. And, um, so I just think that it's really cool that we got to go on a field trip. Cool. Cool, thanks. The field trip was pretty fun, and being able to like, be a part of everything. My favorite thing about Herpetology Club is that we can interact with the animals more, and that it's like another science, and the snakes are really fun to hold. <laughs> Cool. I think that it's just a good experience to have. And, you know, if you go to like a normal GBI, you have this experience. So. Um, I think my favorite thing is um, holding all the animals. That is really fun. Um, yeah, especially Snoopy here. <laughs> I know, it's like blurry. You barely even see it. Yeah, it looks like there's two of them, just at the very end. Yeah, just, get, just pull them around here. Scooby, I'm not your toy. Looks you're a tree.